Hi everyone, Dakota here with Clackamas County Sustainability and Solid Waste. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own cleaners at home, specifically a soft scrub. It's one of my favorites. So let's check it out. So let's talk ingredients. Most of the things needed for a soft scrub could probably be found around your house, in the kitchen, pantry, and if not, are pretty inexpensive to pick up at the store. But first, we're going to start with our classic baking soda, and then some vegetable oil-based soap. Good examples of this are Dr. Bronner's and Murphy Stove soap that you can find at the store. And then to mix your ingredients, you'll need some sort of vessel. I'm just using Tupperware that I have at home. And if you're someone who likes measurements, get your tablespoon ready. All right, so let's mix everything together. What we'll need is two tablespoons of baking soda. I've poured out here to make it a bit easier. So I'll measure that out. One. Two. And then we'll need just one uh, tablespoon of our vegetable oil based soap. All right, we've got that taken care of. So you can see this in our mixture. I'm really just gonna use a little wood stick I have at home to mix the two. And what I'm looking for is like an icing or frosting like consistency. Now that we've finished making our cleaner, some of you might be wondering how to use it. It's pretty simple. Just take a gob of your soft scrub that you've made, put it on the corner of a rag, spread it around a little bit, preferably a moist rag, and you're good to go. All you need is a little bit of elbow grease to scrub. All right, with all this in mind, talk is cheap. Let's see how this cleaner performs. Thanks for watching. And for more green cleaner ideas and recipes, be sure to check out Metro's Green Cleaner Guide or contact Clackamas County Sustainability and Solid Waste for more information. Plus, be sure to check out our YouTube videos under Clacko TV playlist Sustainability for more interesting content like this. Happy green cleaning from Clackamas County.